Breaking news last week, Brent, for Voyager. How about we start there? Give us an update on what's going on. Yeah, it was a good news release. Uh, what we explained in that news release is that we've been moving forward uh, traditionally as a generic and originally as a device. Uh, the uh, FDA a year ago uh, changed the ruling to uh, barium sulfate becoming a drug. So we ended up moving forward on how do we approach the FDA as a drug. And we decided to make better and new products and file under the FDA 505B2 pathway, which allows us to uh, file under as a drug under an ex where existing data is 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 allowed to be used from other uh, uh, drugs that are similar. So it allows us basically to go to the FDA with new drugs on our five barren contrast products, which are currently Health Canada approved, and we're moving forward uh, into revenue this year, selling in Canada. Okay, so this is this is a great story. From earth to bottle, I'm gonna hit you with 10 questions really quickly for everybody out there. Grab your pen and paper, you don't wanna miss out. So here we go. Can you elaborate on the role of radiology contrast agents such as barium, iodine, and gadolinium in diagnosing critical condition, conditions like tumors, vascular diseases, and brain disorders. Sure, contrast media, it's uh, over a $6 billion a year market. It's the most consumed injectable in healthcare. And uh, they're made from critical minerals, which are major shortages. And uh, they use these drugs to diagnose disease. So chronic disease is rising. GE Healthcare has stated that uh, demand for contrast drugs is going to double in the next 10 years. So we're situated in a market where there's no North American production, and we are moving forward to be a vertically integrated company where we source our own minerals and produce our own drugs right here in, in U.S. and Canada. Okay, great. And there's over 120 million CT scans and 100 million MRI scans performed annually. I couldn't believe this when I was researching this. How, did, how does Voyager plan to meet the increase in global demand for contrast media? Well, we're starting with our Francis Creek barium sulfate project. So we discovered one of the highest grade deposits that meets pharmaceutical grade, which is extremely rare, which allows us to come forward with competitive products by mining our own, our own mineral, which is the feedstock to make our barium contrast line. And we're going to transition as we move into cash flow and begin an iodine project in the U.S. where we extract our own iodine and make iodine drugs. So in addition to that, we have uh, a carbon capture partner called Rain Cage Carbon, who are creating carbon endohedral fullerenes, which we can make a whole new line of, of MRI drugs that will be safer and more effective. Okay, and for those of you who may not have heard of Rain Cage, I recommend you get over to the Voyager's website and start researching this. Let me just go a little bit further. In addition to what I your media market is projected to double by 2033. <laughs> How are you going to take advantage of this growing market? Well, it's uh, it, it's the pricing. The pricing keeps rising due to the shortages. And uh, just by being a low cost provider, we are going to take advantage by having the highest margins in the industry, allowing to and at same time selling for competitive prices which is going to ramp up growth quite rapidly once we have our, our our own supply chain vertically integrated there's very little that can prevent uh, all our competition from competing so there's currently major supply shortages and unless you uh, can extract natural minerals you're going to get left behind so we're dealing with an aging population with more chronic diseases than ever you've got a vertically integrated business model okay can you explain how owning and controlling your own resources like barium and iodine are going to help you achieve over 70 percent of your production margins that's what i read on your website yeah it all comes down to costs and uh, when you can source your own minerals your costs are dramatically lower for example we just imported a few tons of barium sulfate for our work that we're doing with our contract manufacturer and it costs us seventy three hundred dollars a ton landed in Calgary. And uh, our our PA is, 
our estimates are $600 a ton once we have Francis Creek moving forward. So a tenfold decrease in mineral costs is what propels our growth moving forward. Okay, and your timeline for production is just unbelievable. I think I heard two months and then another year until we start seeing the kind of revenue that we can get really excited about. Did I hear you well, properly? You're looking at, so our whole strategy of using a contract manufacturer and importing very from foreign sources and it's synthetically manufactured product is that uh, <clears throat> we're proving economics. So we have a preliminary economic assessment done on the Francis Creek project that gives it a value of $344 million. And uh, we're moving forward with initiating sales using a contract manufacturer, proving our economics. And this will all be used for our final bankable feasibility study, which will be done um, after our next financing. And uh, it allows us to, to get the capital we need to build our own facilities and expand this project. And as far as revenues, we're, we're looking at uh, potentially uh, 8 million next year, maybe 10 million, depending on, on uh, the factors moving forward. We have to displace the current market and that's in Canada. And then once we get our FDA approvals, uh, we're looking long-term at uh, capturing 30% of the market and uh, with 90 million in revenues with our own facility. So, Brent, your website is really phenomenal. You've done an excellent job, if you ask me, in trying to explain this vertical supply chain, okay, that you've got and how you're independent from foreign supply, et cetera. I just think it's perhaps an industry sector that people are not as familiar. I mean, the last time I had a conversation with, hey, have you had any contrast agents yet for <laughs> uh, with your medical diagno diagnosis? is not something that we have every day. So do you want to talk a little bit more about that for just a minute about how the industry is currently run? Because I don't think most people understand that it's actually controlled by foreign countries that have these resources. Sure. We're, we're going up against a, a company that has a monopoly in North America on bear and contrast. And uh, what we're finding is that, uh, that clinics and, and, and organizations that are bound with having to buy barium sulfate are looking for an alternative, or more of that alternative. And what we can offer them is we give them the choice to move away from that company and purchase iodine contrast, which they use much more. And it's uh, iodine contrast is uh, over a, a $4 billion market. And they can buy iodine from other companies at lower price by pairing it with our barium contrast. So, we are moving forward with sales and we have, we're very confident that we can move forward very rapidly in Canada, just because the outreach we had from all our customers are, they're ready for change. Well, I'll tell you, Voyager is a company that gets me excited because it makes sense. Everything about it makes sense. So for everybody out there seeking more information on Voyager, please go to your website and Brent, what should we be looking forward to other than, I guess, all the focus right now is on production here in the next couple of months? Yeah, we have production. We have, uh, we're bringing in uh, more team members that are uh, our pharmaceutical experts. We'll be uh, announcing those in the, in the coming weeks. And uh, we're building our teams. We're surrounding ourselves with experts. We've got an amazing scientific advisory board. And uh, we're just going to, we're just bootstrapping forward and we're going to build this company out and uh, we know we have a great plan we know that uh, everything's going to work out great for us and uh, we're very excited about our future well we're going to try and get you down to the critical minerals expo and summit in pasadena california next year because barium of course is on the critical minerals list brent thank you so much for joining us today and for everybody out there again please go go to the voyager pharmaceuticals website thank you Thank you very much.